A new study by Harvard University has found that female bonobos team up to fend off males in the wild. Scientists say it is one of the rare examples of such a strategy, and it helps explain how they maintain their peaceful existence. Bonobos, along with chimpanzees, are considered the closest living evolutionary relatives to humans. In bonobo society, strength and sisterhood is more than just a phrase. It's the driving force. Female bonobos form tight alliances that allow them to stand up to aggressive males, to protect each other and shape the social order. If uh, individuals, in this case females, join forces, they basically gain power, right? And in, 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 the, in our case, females, by forming coalitions, they gain power. Over males, they can really, they can gain uh, dominance within their group and they can attain, you know, very uh, high ranking positions within the group. Bonobos look similar to chimpanzees, but they are smaller, thinner and darker. Although they are close relatives, chimps and bonobos have very different social dynamics. While chimpanzees are prone to violence, bonobos are mostly peace-loving. They can actually solve conflict through having sex. Researchers refer to them as hippie apes. Scientists have long wondered how female bonobos maintain their matriarchies. Three decades of observations in the Democratic Republic of Congo, the only place where they live in the wild, show the sisterhood works together to keep the males in check. They support each other no matter their relationship. And we even see, you know, if different groups come together, females of different groups support each other or form coalitions against males. So it even, you know, transcends group boundaries, these kind of tendency to form coalitions. The bonobo female's unique bond could even serve as an example of what a strong sisterhood looks like, perhaps also for humans. Yeah, for more now, I want to bring in Dr. Barbara Fruit. She's the group leader at the Max Planck Institute of Animal Behavior. Doctor, it's good to have you with us on this Friday evening. A fascinating story. And this study says that female bonobos find strength in numbers, teaming up to fend off male aggression in the wild. How exactly do the females do this? Well, you have to imagine that you have a group where females are unrelated and um, when they aggress a male, they simply run all at the same time at that male and then may hit him or um, may stab him or even have more aggressive behavior such as bites or mm -hmm. slam him. Yes, so they this don't, is a rare behavior. In the world. So they, 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 they mean, don't have... You, you don't go ahead, go ahead. No, you have to know that bonobos, it's not that they are, they are still a quite peaceful ape relative to other mm, great apes such as the chimpanzee. But in these other occasions, it's sufficient that females team up and this may f help them to be the dominant sex in the society. And it sounds like the way you're describing it is that the females uh, may be more intelligent than the males because they can't use bodily strength the males are stronger but they know that there is strength in numbers and with that they can maybe scare the male away is that a correct reading of it i wouldn't say that they are more intelligent i mean you know that it's a puzzle it's a big puzzle and there are a lot of components playing into this superior behavior. For example, female bonobos also have a very extended signaling of receptivity that is similar to uh, our concealed ovulation. And the male who doesn't know when a female is fertile may invest more into a female in the long run, may have a long-term investment. And that also plays into that. The unique thing with our study is that we could prove for the first time that the teaming up is a very severe um, factor in the setup of the dominance hierarchy. Mm -hmm. And in in their society, do women or the, do the females, do they tend to have most of the say or do the males return to everyday dominance? 
Now, in this society, females have the, the say, you can. They, if there's a food sharing, for example, it's usually the females who are in possession of the high value food. And it's the males who have to wait and to behave in order to obtain a share. So this That's is a very typical uh, picture that, that we observe. And this is in a strong contrast so, to what scientists observe in the chimpanzee mm. society. And this is the fascinating part because we uh, are equally related to both species. Yeah, and maybe we can, by observing the bonobos, maybe we can learn a little bit about ourselves as well and um, find the key to having more peace in humankind as well. Dr. Barbara Fruit, we appreciate your time this Friday evening. Thank you.